Hello boys and girls, FA Cup action, Sutton United on Monday. After Wednesday night, am I confident? Nah, far from it. This preview is going to be a little bit interesting. Come and join me and see exactly what I've got to say. <laughs> Like I said, this preview is going to be interesting. But before I get into the real meat of things, I need to tell you about a brand new betting app. Now it's called BetBall, and I will be doing some accumulators on there over the coming weeks. I'm going to go through my weekend's accumulators with you, and I hopefully will be able to win you some money. Now when you've downloaded the app, you need to find my profile, Mr. DTAFC. The aim is to get me into one of the top 25 tipsters on the app. To do that, I need about 100 of you following me. You get the app, you follow me on there, and I'm going to pick one of you to win £150. You could do what you like with that £150. Maybe you could use the money towards a new banner. Now there's a novel idea. Now when you join, you do get a free £20 bet. You've got to make a £20 deposit first and they will match that £20 deposit. Now as I said, I picked an accumulator for this weekend. As it's my first one, I kept it pretty simple and I went for FA Cup action. Take a look and tell me if you would go along with these selections. Everything is on here. You scroll your way through and it has every kind of football for the weekend on from all divisions, all leagues, all countries. I'm going to keep it pretty simple this week and I'm going to go for the FA Cup action. I'm going to start off with Middlesbrough against Oxford United and with that game I'm going to go for a home win. Millwall versus Leicester City, I'm going to go with an away win. Huddersfield Town against Manchester City, away win. Wolves versus Chelsea, away win. Fulham versus Spurs, I really want to go for Fulham, but I can't see anything but a Spurs win. Blackburn against Manchester United, another away win. And Sutton United against Arsenal. Oh, it needs to be an away win. So there you have it. Like I said, it really is that simple. What do you think about my accumulator? Not bad if you ask me. Anyway, let's get back to business and let's get back to the game on Monday night against Sutton United. How are we going to react? I honestly do not know. I'm still pissed off about Wednesday's result. It's not the fact we lost. It's the fact of how we lost. 5-1. The performance was a disgrace. Every single player on that pitch should hang their head in shame. Arsene Wenger, Steve Bold, everyone associated to the club. Hang your heads. It's a disgrace. It's 2017. And we were told that by 2015... We would be on a level with Bayern Munich. Well, since 2015, we've lost 5-1 twice to Bayern Munich. Hardly on a level, is it now? I really don't want to get too into this about Bayern Munich. I've said what I needed to say on Arsenal Fan TV and whatnot after. Everybody knows I'm pissed off. I'm sure every single one of you are pissed off. So let's put that aside right now and try and focus on the Sutton game. Because if we don't focus on that game, then believe me, we're going out of the FA Cup as well. So what can we expect from Sutton United? I've really had to dig deep to find out some statistics about this team. Because honestly, I don't know anything about them. They are in the Vauxhall Conference Premier. They have played 30 games this season. They've won 10, drawn 6, lost 14. They have scored 32 goals and conceded 41. They have a goal difference of minus 9. Oh, the more I reel off these statistics, the more... I think to myself, if we lose this, wow, I'm old enough to remember our defeat to Wrexham. That hurt. This, this would really hurt. Arsenal, wow, I don't care what team goes out there. You do not lose this game, I'm telling you. It's a huge, huge game for them. I've got nothing but admiration for Sutton United and what they're going to achieve out of this. It is the ultimate David versus Goliath. It is what FA Cup stories are all about. It is the fairy tale. But Arsenal, do not give them the fairy tale ending, trust me. I want a professional performance. I want a proper performance. And I want us to just get the job done. I don't care if it's 1-0, 10-0. Just win the game. With that said, I'm going to go into my 1-11. to I'm going to pick the team that I would go with. Because I really can't predict what Arsene Wenger would go with. 
In goal, David Espina. Now, listen, if it wasn't for this guy, we would have conceded about eight or nine in Munich. I've got no problems with him whatsoever. He's our cup goalkeeper. I actually think he should be our Premier League goalkeeper right now. So it's an easy choice. In goal, David Espina. Right back, I'm going to pick Hector Bellerin. Simple reason being, I don't want Matt Debucci absolutely nowhere near our team. The guy criticises us left, right and centre. He doesn't want to be here. He's collecting a wage for nothing. Fuck off. You don't deserve to wear the shirt. I don't want to see you in the shirt. So I don't want to see you on the pitch. Cole Jenkinson, not good enough. Not even for the level of Sutton United. So for me, Hector Bellerin goes in at right back. Left back, I'm going to go with Nacho Monreal. Take Kieran Gibbs out. He's played the last couple of games. Nacho Monreal, stick him in there. He's an experienced player. Surely he ain't going to get roasted by Sutton United. In at left back, Nacho Monreal. Centre back pairing, well, we already know that we've lost Lauren Koscielny. We don't even know what's happened to him. We don't know how long he's going to be out. And I don't think he would have played this game anyway. Now, the first name on the team sheet for me should be Rob Holden. I've been so impressed with this guy every time I've seen him. He doesn't seem to get a chance. He isn't getting any form of a look in at the moment. But his time will come. He's still young and I feel this guy has the potential to be one of the best. He needs to just keep progressing the way he's doing. Be patient and we'll see where it goes. Next to him, I'm going to go with Gabriel. Now, I see a lot of people criticising Gabriel when he came on against Bayern Munich. You know, that he come on and within 10 minutes we conceded three goals, etc, etc. Listen, it wasn't down to him why we conceded the second goal and the third goal, etc. That was down to Mustafi, yeah? Mustafi's watching the ball come across and he lets Lewandowski get the better of him. You've got to be stronger. The third goal. He's too busy moaning at Hector Bellerin about being out of position, the Lewandowski's just pulled off him. Schoolboy errors. We paid a lot of money for this guy, and his performances lately have really pissed me off. So for me, Mustafi comes out of the team, and I'm going to have Gabriel there alongside Rob Holding. Now in the centre of midfield, this is where I feel there will be some changes. I'm going to take Francis Coquelin and Granit Xhaka both out of there. I'm going to stick Mohamed Elneny in there. Um, I think he would do that defensive midfield role. And I'm going to put Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain back in there in front of him. I don't know why the guy was taken out of there against Bayern Munich. He was very ineffective on the right-hand side. Stick him back in there. He's the one player that's impressed me over the last few weeks. Why are you taking him out of there? So, Arsene, put Oxlade-Chamberlain back in there, please. On the right-hand side of midfield, I'm going to go with Theo Walcott. Simple reason being, he come off the bench against Bayern Munich, didn't start. He's got to go out there and perform. Stick Theo Walcott on the right-hand side. Very simple. On the left-hand side of midfield, I'm going to go with Lucas Perez. I know he missed the game against Munich because of a slight hamstring problem. But if he's available, if he's fit, give him a start. What more does this guy have to do? Stick him in there, man. In the number 10 role, I'm going to go with Jeff Rennie Adelaide. Now, the last time he played against Southampton, he was excellent. So for me, I'm going to go with Jeff Rennie Adelaide in that number 10 role. Up front, Danny Welbeck. Where the hell has this guy been the last few weeks? Why is he not playing? Why is he not getting any minutes? I know he's just come back from a long injury, but you're taking the piss now, Arson. Every time I've seen this guy this season, he's causing problems. Goes without question, goes without saying, Danny Welbeck goes up front against Sutton United. Now, in terms of the likes of Meza, Ozil, etc., I would still keep them in the squad. I'll put them on the bench. I'll make them sit there and watch the game from the touchline. Use them if needs be. But if not, leave them sat there. Let them freeze. Let them feel what it's like to be a fan. Because that's what we're like on the touchline. We don't get no comforts. We don't get no luxuries. So good luck in the changing rooms, Arsenal. Because you're not going to have your little padded seats in there. I've seen the Sutton United changing rooms. It's breeze block walls. The paint's brown. You've got wooden benches. And you've got concrete floors. Welcome to reality, Arsenal. Because this is going to be one hell of a fucking culture shock. I feel that my team is strong enough to beat Sutton United. I feel it's strong enough to not disrespect the FA Cup. And above all, it's the least the fans deserve. It's the least the fans of Sutton United deserve. They don't want to spend the money that they're spending to come and watch our under-23 side. Put the big names out there. Make them play. Like I said, we haven't got a game until March the 4th. Go get the job done. So there we have it. My preview of the game against Sutton United. My 1-11. to 
As you can see, I'm still a little bit wounded from Wednesday night, but let's just hope my mood changes on Monday. You know what to do if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you comment. Catch me there on Monday night at Sutton United where I'll be releasing my match day vlog as per usual. Oh, I don't even know if I want to say this, but Arsenal, do not let me down. Oh my God, please. Of all the games, don't let me down against Sutton United. I'll see you lot Monday night.